Hey guys, I device help here, and today Apple released iOS 10.3.2 Beta 3 to register developers. And as always, in this video, I like to keep you guys informed of any performance increase or any changes in terms of features. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Now, what I want to share with you guys first is the build number as usual, 14F5080A is the current build number. Now, this device here is running Beta 2. So you can see there I'm prompted for Beta 3. And what I wanted to show you first, uh, the performance increase. Here is the current performance by the Geekbench application. You can see there the single core score on a beta 3 in comparison to beta 2 on both iPhone 7 Plus. Uh, we have a 3546 to a 3541. Nothing drastic at all. Pretty similar. Uh, in terms of multi-core performance, we have 5999 and 5993. So when it comes to performance, internal performance, it looks like the OS is flowing identical. Now, what about in terms of features? Is there anything new that we can talk about that Apple added to this that is not on the previous beta? And to be honest, I've been digging around comparing both devices to see if there's anything at all that Apple had changed, but it doesn't appear to be so. Everything is completely identical. I'm waiting for the uh, new emoji update, which could be introduced with iOS 11, of course. Those of you who were anticipating a uh, dark mode, uh, just like me, for the iOS 10.3, it doesn't look like that's going to happen. I guess we'll have to wait for iOS 11. Unfortunately, uh, I was under the impression that Apple could have released this uh, before iOS 11, but it looks like that's not going to be the case. Now, I also wanted to talk about the iPhone uh, 4S here because Apple is yet to release a patch for iOS 9.3.5 which still holds a bypass which allows anyone to get access to the device by simply going to the lock screen engaging the voice assistants as i demonstrated on my unlock video or bypass video and apple has yet to release any software fixes for this i wanted to point that out because it's very important that if you have an older device as an iphone 4s or an iphone 4 and you have important pictures and information that you want to keep a private I suggest you remove it from your device and then save them to your computer and wipe out the device until Apple releases an update that can fix this because if someone takes hold of your device Apple has yet to fix this with any software updates for 32-bit devices that do not support iOS 10 I thought that was uh, something important to bring up because it's been quite some time it's been about three to four months since I talked about the bypass for the lock screen Apple has yet uh, to release a fix even though I did submit the proper information to apple to fix this they've yet to do so so in terms of performance to ios 10.3.2 uh, everything is identical guys no new features you saw the scores battery performance is still the same in my opinion i get very mixed results on iphone uh, 7 in comparison to iphone 6s or 6s plus so i haven't been talking much about batteries and that's the reason why i've been getting really mixed results but very similar from ios 10.3 uh, 10.3.1 to 10.3.2 and so on so just to keep you guys informed hope you guys enjoy the video just a quick update on what's going on with the latest beta it's been i device help and i will catch you guys really soon peace